Hey everyone, this is Jenny and I'm excited to share my first IGTV video with my Insta friends. This video will specifically focus on a very basic handwritten typeface. All the letters are going to be in caps. So you'll notice as I'm writing the letters, they all have essentially the same height and the same width. And I'm using graphing paper or grid paper intentionally so it helps you get an idea as to how wide some of the letters are. I'm going to use my red pen to kind of highlight some of some specific areas of the letter. So this first line right here that I'm about to draw, that's what we call the cap line. That's the top of the letter or the height of the letter in this case. And the bottom or the, the base of the letter is called the, the baseline. So every letter that I write is going to be within the baseline or the cap line. And then I'll draw a dash through the letters, and that's my mean line. So if a letter has a cross stroke, my cross stroke is not going to be at the middle of the, of the letter. It's going to be a little higher, and that's just the preferred style. You could do it a little lower or right in the middle. It doesn't matter as long as it's consistent um, through, through each of the letters that you write. So I'm going to continue writing my letters. Notice that the E, the F, the G, and the, and the H all have that same mean line. This is what makes it look really appealing to the eye. Very similar to, let's say, the Ray, the Ray Dunn font that you see on mugs and plates. Um, it looks really pretty because there is balance um, amongst the phrase or the letters and having consistency amongst the height, the width, and that mean line makes it really look attractive and appealing to the eye. And anytime I post a lettering workshop, I start with this exercise um, because I think it's really important to really understand the foundations um, uh, uh, of the letter. And this is just one font, right? Or just one typeface. There's so much to learn for, for every type of style. And I hope to share more styles with you through this platform. So please let me know if there's something else that you are are looking to learn, especially during this time period where we're practicing social distancing. So notice the letters R, um, the Q, and the K have um, a, an aspect of the letter that um, comes out a little bit. It's, it's up to you as to how you want to create that style. If you want to add a little tail, it's entirely up to you. Notice I'm counting the boxes because I want to make sure that my third row of letters essentially has that same height or that same length as my first and uh, first and second row of letters. And I used a basic Sharpie marker um, to to create this. Nothing fancy, just a Sharpie black marker. And you can make it make the letters as thick as you want to or as, as fine as you want to. And as you can see right here, I'm just drawing a line through my um, mean line. And I am not perfect. I am human. So there are some areas where I could have probably um, uh, improved if or corrected if, let's say, if I was working on a, uh, a, a chalkboard. So now I'll just kind of show you how I would write 
the numbers using that same style of having a taller mean line. And again, the grid paper or the graphing paper really helps in trying to figure out how upright the letter is or how italicized or slanted your, your numbers or letters are. So it's really helpful to practice um, using, using graphing paper. All right, so this is what we just worked on. The mean line is higher, and in this particular um, set of letters, the mean line is lower, but notice it's consistent amongst all the letters, and that's what makes it look so neat and so pretty. So feel free to message me if you want a snapshot of this particular um, set of letters or anything that I worked on here, or take a screenshot. Thanks so much for watching. If you made it to this point, I really appreciate it. Um, I love it when you tag me on things that you've been working on, especially if you've taken a workshop of mine. Stay tuned for other uh, videos that I hope to post in the next few uh, days and would love to um, would love to see what you're working on. Tag me on your, on your stories, on your post, and thanks again.